All right, guys, Technivorous here. Real quick, I just wanted to show you another way to slice your temperature tower. This is going to be using Kira and some of its post-processing scripts in order to change temperatures at different layer heights. Now, um, we are going by layer, but you can easily go by height. Uh, and in fact, that is the native setting. So if I go to post-processing, modify G-code, you can see I have mine set up here already. Each of these is a temperature change. Um, between 185 and 220 uh, and what it is is basically just a script that it adds on after you finish slicing it'll go through and add this script at that layer height so uh, you can change the trigger here to height uh, that would be an easy way to get the exact amount here I did go through and adjust everything by the layer again uh, and one of the reasons for that is because of Let's close this it's because of this gap right here. Um, so we extruded 40 millimeters and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which means each of these should be about five millimeters, but we have this difference here. Um, so if we were to go back into our modeling software and get the height of just this piece and subtract that and then divide the remainder uh, by eight, we would get the height of each particular square and then we could just add that um, kind of like this here so you'd go to modify g-code and what you would do is go by height uh, and change the height here and then we're changing the extruder temperature we're not changing the flow rate the bed or any of that so um, we're gonna go ahead and just close this I did have one two three four five six seven eight the reason there's eight temperature changes uh, some of these filaments start off a little higher than 185 and printing this first layer down at 185 was causing some adhesion problems for me. So I did update and add a brim to this to keep it from tipping over. Um, and that's the reason for the extra change. This first little bit is going to print at 190 um, just to make sure it adheres to the bed. And then it'll drop to 185 and then it'll go back up to 190, 195, uh, 200 and so forth. So that's basically it. You can add or subtract as many of these as you want. Uh, we are going to be looking at some other scripts in the future because there's some pretty cool stuff in here. The uh, pause at height and filament change, insert at layer change, things like that. These are really cool for uh, adjusting your model. And the filament change in particular, you can switch colors at a certain layer um, to get multicolored prints. And you can do that more than once. So you can print with five, ten colors if you have the desire to. Um, I will tell you that this other script, this this uh, filament change script is friggin' annoying because when it stops, it sits there and beeps until you change the filament. So it's nice that it lets you know that it's ready to change, but if you're not uh, on top of it, you're going to hear some, some latent beeping that's kind of annoying. But um, This is all about slicing this temp tower. So uh, here you can see how we did that. This is using Kira entirely. We don't have to edit any G-code or anything. We have our file. Um, slice it up and it automatically does all the post-processing adjustments for you so go ahead and save that to my removable drive and we will print one out not going to show you the print in this video because it is cheap week we are printing temperature towers for our cheap filaments and we will be putting up the Weebooks black filament video today and you will see the temp tower there so thanks for watching guys Technivorous out and as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.